Hello and welcome to another episode of Humans in Five. There are lots of big events in our lives. Birthdays, graduations, new jobs, vacations, and of course, weddings. Weddings are a time of celebration and in many ways a view into specific traditions and how these might change over time. Today, they're also a big deal financially. The wedding industry, which includes everything from wedding planners to flowers and cakes, is estimated to be worth about $165 billion a year in the United States of America, with the average cost of a wedding in Canada coming in at just under $30,000. We both love a wedding, and specifically, a wedding dress. And it turns out we're not the only ones who enjoy watching people select an outfit for such a big celebration. The American reality TV show Say Yes to the Dress, which shows brides and their families and friends shopping for a wedding dress, first aired in 2007 and has now racked up 19 seasons and over nine related programs set in countries like England and Ireland. So what is it that's so addictive about watching people shop for a piece of clothing? First up, while we love a good gown, weddings are more than just a dress. A marriage, from an anthropological point of view, is a way of defining relatedness between people. It brings together two groups of people and, in a way, socially transforms their relationships because of the wedded couple. We talked about finances earlier for a particular reason, too. Marriage has always been an important economic event. Across history, it represents access to land, wealth, social status, and if children come along the way, a way of establishing inheritance. There's a lot more detail to the types of weddings and rules about who can marry who across history in different communities, but we'll leave that for another episode. Shows like Say Yes to the Dress show white as the traditional color for a wedding frock. Most historians point to a shift in white as the popular wedding dress color after 1840, when Queen Victoria of England wore a white dress to marry Prince Albert of Saxe-Coburg. White is traditionally meant to represent purity and virginity in a wedding dress. The white theme is traditionally taken through other decorations for a wedding, including the cake. Anthropologists have suggested that the tradition of matching a white wedding dress to a white cake and then having the groom cut through the cake works as a symbol for the union. The bride is, in lots of ways, embodied in a cake that's changed with the introduction of the groom. Of course, these ideas are one example of a tradition associated with weddings and are not necessarily relevant to everyone. But even with women being seen as cakes or the focus on virginity because of lines of inheritance and all the other elements of weddings that can seem pretty restrictive, we still enjoy a television show about people trying on dresses for such an occasion. Writer Valerie Jacobs suggests that it might be the earnestness of these types of shows that gets to us. Yes, there are some lovely dresses to see, but there's something in these stories that reminds us of, of the kind of romance we might hear about in fairy tales. Brides might describe themselves as princesses, even if two minutes later, there's a very long and unromantic discussion about the dress budget. In a world where reality television includes competitions and relationships falling apart, this television show instead looks to find ways to celebrate people and hopefully an event which will bring them happiness. It's also an extended advertisement for dress designers and wedding stores. Yeah, of course. But it's a bubble where people can, often unironically, talk about their dreams for a little while. We hope this episode gives you a little insight into some of the background when it comes to wedding bells. And we'll see you next time on Humans in Five. And don't forget to subscribe.